Hi, this is Mr. Evans, and this video is going to quickly go over uh, influencers on business, which is unit two, and I've got five minutes to do it. So, business in the it, the second unit is called influencers on business. It's assessed in both paper one and paper two, so it's really important you know it. External influences are what this unit covers. They're the factors outside an organization's control that have a direct impact on it. Um, a-level students use a PESEL analysis. At GCSE, you need to know about the four highlight, the four areas highlighted in bold. So digital communication is something that businesses use to communicate with customers and their own employees. Um, E-commerce has had a massive impact on business. Okay, basically it means that businesses can have a website. That uh, the advantages of it have been increased revenue because businesses can sell to more customers and fall, fall in costs because businesses no longer have to have a huge you know, uh, chain of stores that have expensive high street locations. So if you can increase your revenue and cut costs, that's great news for business, uh, it increases profits, but there are a few disadvantages to e-commerce as well, um, such as the cost of installing the equipment and training staff. The, the AQA identify ethical considerations and environmental considerations as well. I'm going to treat them as one and the same for the purposes of this revision video. Ethics are the study of moral choices, basically, uh, what is right or wrong, and there are a number of ways in which a business can behave ethically. The advantages of being ethical or environmentally friendly are that you get to focus on a uh, clear and grow market segment, ethical or green consumers. There's less chance of negative publicity and basically improves people uh, businesses reputation but it can increase the cost of production because producing in an ethical environmentally friendly way might be more expensive than producing in a way that generates pollution or where you're not paying your staff enough money for example so Sustainability occurs when businesses are uh, become more environmentally friendly and they meet the needs of this generation without compromising the ability of future generations to meet their needs. Basically, they're behaving in a way that reduces the threat of global warming and they use less, fewer, scarce resources. Um, is there a trade-off between being ethical and being profitable? I've said how being ethical might increase your costs, but is it inevitable? Well, maybe in the short term, a business needs to increase its costs to be more ethical, which might lead to a trade-off of profits. But in the long run, businesses may well find that revenues increase and profits go up as a result of being ethical or environmentally friendly. You need to be aware of the economic climate. climate that includes interest rates, the level of employment um, and incomes. So interest rates are an important thing for you to know. It's the cost of borrowing and the reward for saving. When interest rates go up, there's less consumer spending, businesses have higher debt repayments, and that's generally bad news for business. Uh, when interest rates fall, um, consumers are more incentivized to borrow, there's more consumer spending, businesses have uh, face lower debt repayment, and so that's generally good news for business. In terms of the level of employment, while well, high unemployment is associated with less demand for many goods and services, but um, there might be advantages in terms of the fact that uh, workers are less incentivized to uh, demand higher wages and it's easier for businesses to recruit. High employment is associated with more consumer spending, uh, but unfortunately businesses may face higher wage demands as a result and find it harder to, to recruit. Globalisation is the process of the UK becoming more integrated with other global economies such as the US, Europe and emerging markets like China and India. How do British companies uh, compete? They try and offer better designs, they try and offer higher quality products at lower prices. There are some benefits of globalisation to the UK uh, or UK businesses. They can specialise in particular goods and services, um, there are opportunities to sell products, and controversially, they do face more competition from abroad, which might lead them to be uh, more efficient. Um, however, there are threats from globalization, obviously. Okay, Facing more competition isn't always good um, for British businesses, um, and there can be a huge environmental impact of shipping products around the world. Exchange rates affect businesses. They are the price of one currency in terms of another. They particularly affect businesses that import goods from abroad or export British products to customers abroad. Um, 
a good acronym to remember is spiced strong pound imports cheap exports dear when there's a strong pound the price of imports falls uh, that's five minutes and the uh, price of exports rises and that benefits importers but it's the other way around when the pound is weak um, legislation is something that was asked quite a lot on the last spec you need to be aware of employment law health and safety law and consumer law um, and you need to be aware of the effect that legislation has on businesses there are higher costs because businesses need to follow the law such as paying a minimum wage businesses need to train their staff for example in terms of health and safety there's an impact on recruitment and businesses could be prosecuted if they fail to follow the law last thing um, businesses operate in a competitive environment when there's more competition businesses have less ability to set a high selling price they need to promote their products more they need to develop a usp and a strong brand they need to differentiate their product high competition is generally um, uh, associated with lower profits because businesses can't charge the prices that they want and need to spend more in terms of competing with other companies so why do entrepreneurs bother taking the risk of starting a business well to make a profit they've spotted a gap in the market pursue their own interest in case if all businesses face risk what can businesses do to minimize those risks they could make write a business plan they could do financial forecasting they could conduct market research they could do some contingency planning and they can uh, do some risk management which is the process of systematically reducing the problems of uh, the chance of problems occurring so that is unit two as quickly as i can do it